here you can see and when you can touch it I would encourage you to go in a salt marsh be gentle don't step on it much and just touch the bottom of the salt marsh it's just an amazing hard structured sponge that accretes the sediment with the root system that you already learned from some other classes but here what I'm trying to to show you is how this fringing salt marsh is important for the shoreline because it's actually protecting us. So if you compare this amazing structure that takes a long time, sometimes 100 years for the salt marsh to become stable and for the sediments to be accreted in this way, and look on the opposite side where we build hard structures as a part of our human structures and infrastructure and harbor way, you can see the stones and you can see the attached are only these rock weeds that actually float as the tide comes up and down. This is actually the times of the low tide. The tide here is between 9 and 12 feet. It comes all the way and covers this salt marsh and this beautiful Spartina stems all the way up so you can basically just see the tops of it. And uh, when I said it protects us, just imagine when we had these big storms like Sandy and it's just like hitting into the structures, human structures, and just basically devastates it. This type of beautiful fringing salt marsh can basically subside and minimize effect of the waves more than 60%.